Hello uh, welcome to Snooker Pro Tips. Uh, I've had an, an email off a young man regarding a practice routine uh, just to help him out. Now well this is one. Uh, when I emailed him I uh, asked him what practice routines he actually did and he said line up. Uh, now most people when they put line up on I'm taking he, he does the same thing as everybody else. They put all the reds on. Uh, this is fine in principle but it doesn't give you anything to aim at or any challenge. Uh, I asked him what his highest break was and he said it was somewhere in the 20s so, and he'd, not, he'd only been playing for about 5 or 6 months which is quite good actually for, for that period of time. Uh, the problem with putting all the reds on is that you'll never ever do it. So what you've got to do is build yourself up to doing it and try and keep it a little bit realistic because if you put all the reds on you have to ask yourself the question what are the chances of me potting all the reds in one visit and it's, it's absolutely not going to happen because you're still learning the game and you're still trying to play. Uh, the one thing I did mention to him to try and do uh, is try and make sure you've got all the shots. So on the Snooker Pro Tips clips, I've made sure that all the shots are on there, run through, stun and screw. Because if it is you're going to try this little routine, if it is you're a beginner or you're just looking to see a little improvement in around the black spot area, uh, you'll need these shots. So to start with, if it is your, your breaks only in the 20s, as you can see here now, I've got four reds on. Uh, normally you'll take a black at some point, so your eyes break here is actually here in some respect. And more than likely you'll be around the 30 mark when you're doing this because you'll take maybe two reds, two blacks. So you will be around the 30 mark. Uh, and also you'll also understand eventually how the white is working. So you can see now, just keeping it nice and simple. I'm just going to roll the first red in nice and gently, keep it nice and simple. I can start on any red I require, by the way, I, I'm just starting there, just so it's the first one I came to. Uh, so I've potted the red, and now I'm absolutely dead straight on the black. So as I said, you would need all the shots, so this is one you'll need, which is the screw shot. Uh, so I've played it, started off with a run through, so straight away now, I've got a different shot altogether now, which is the screw shot. So I'll keep it nice and simple, nice slow backswing, and a nice accelerate through. And you see now there, just screw it off nicely, and just finish nicely on the bottom red. Now if it is at this point now a miss, or you miss when you're doing it, that's the best you've ever done. So the challenge now is actually to pot red colour red and then you've beaten your best. So actually you've always got a target to aim at. So now as you can see I'm on the bottom red. And once again I've got a screw shot. Except this time it's not quite as big as the last one. So it's just a nice gentle little screw shot and bring yourself back down for the black. Something like that. So now once again I've finished absolutely dead straight on the black. So now once again, I can look at the pink to the centre there, or I can look at the black. Now the black's a little bit too straight, and then what I can also do is maybe screw the white into this area, so now I've got a red to the centre. So I'm just going to keep it nice and simple, nice gentle screw shot back, and hold for a red into the centre. So now you can see that I'm nicely on one of the reds to the centre. They both go. So what I'm going to try and do now is just keep it nice and simple again, nice and straight, nice run through, try and get onto the pink. You can see there now, nice on the pink. Now the one thing is with this pink, it's a three quarter pink. So what that allows me to do, I don't want to drop it in slow, I'm going to play a nice stun shot. So I'm just going to pop the pink nicely, stun the white, and bring it over to this, this area again. Now the key with the stun shot, follow through. Don't, as on some other clips that have been on YouTube, uh, namely Snooker Tips, where he explains the stun shot, stop on impact to stun the cue ball. No, follow through. Follow through the ball. Hit the cue ball in the correct place and follow through. So it's just below the centre. Cue going nicely. And then a nice follow through. And now you can see now I've just moved white over. And I've now got roughly say half ball red. 
And again, now, if I'd missed at this point, that's the best I've ever done. So the challenge again is to beat it. So now, here we are with our full red, which is just a nice stun shot down for the black. And I've missed the red. So now you can see there, just out of that four, that's the best I've ever done. So the idea now, stick them on again, and go again. So this time, what I'm going to try and do this time is pot all four with colours. I'll try and keep the talking down a little bit because it's a little bit off putting. So now, what I'm going to do now, start on a different rev and just go through the motions again. I'll try and tell you what shots I'm playing as I go along. So just a nice run through. Now, because this red's in the way, now I can't play a stun shot, so it's very important that I play the screw shot. Now what I'm going to do is pop the black and just bring the white up into this area. If you imagine a line coming through here, this shows now that for one line through white, I'm not straight with it, just at three quarters. So which is a nice screw shot for one of the reds. So now actually I've got a choice of reds. Now if it is you're not too good at the stun shot. Try and find the one which is the stun shot. So in this case, it's actually this one. So now I'm actually going to stun this red here. Okay, you see there, it's a nice stun shot. I'm quite at it hard enough. So now I might have to play pink for the centre. Which is a screw. Good recovery shot there on the pink. Now nicely on the red again. So the red again now is a stun shot. Nicely on the black or the pink. You can choose that either. But in this case, I'm going to play the black, which is a nice stun shot again. So now I've actually equaled what I did before by potting those. And now to beat what I did before, try and pot the red. And now you can see there's a little bit of a challenge going where you've got to beat your best. So now my best before was three reds, three colours. So this is to beat my best or your best. You see it again? Oh. Well that's basically just a nice simple little routine. Keep it nice and easy, keep it nice and simple. I hope, I hope you enjoyed looking at that. Again, I'll try and do the four just to show it can be done. a little bit differently. Start off with a screw shot and a nice stun shot. Just a nice jump run through. Again, keep it nice and simple, just got a nice easy run through here on the pink. Try and make sure you take your time as well, I'm just speeding up a little bit, because I don't want the, the time running out on me on YouTube. Got a nice screw shot now on the pink, because I've played a few run throughs. Again, just a nice easy screw shot. Just to hold me for the red nicely. So I'm back here again and now. The best I've done. Pressure's on. I've missed it twice. So hopefully, part of the third, third time lucky. This is just a nice stun shot. Um, off two cushions. So now you can see now I've actually beat my best. 
and to try and finish it off and just a nice easy pop on the black something like that 